Aloha everybody Just now getting on the road It's a little after 9 o'clock in the morning Got about a 3 hour drive today I'm looking forward to checking out a couple spots along the way But first things first Gas Last night was great, my hosts were excellent Got to talking with them and they actually helped me find a place for Thursday. I would say that that's probably the most stressful thing on this trip so far is just trying to make sure you have somewhere to go to sleep, you know? It's not going to cost you $50 a night. Because I actually looked up a uh, campsite and they were like, oh yeah, it's $50. And I'm like, okay, how much for a tent? $50. I like that that is literally absurd just complete absurdity I didn't watch any anime last night surprisingly though I have been uh, watching season two of uh, Ghost in the Shell Sack 2045 oh, um, Major, what should I do I'm sorry are you a member of section 9 uh, not really then that means I have no standing or authority to give you orders <gasps> Which I'll be fair, uh, I enjoy it. It's not as good as the uh, other standalone complexes, in my opinion. But I enjoy it. Aloha, Negi here. And welcome once again to the segment I like to call a question nobody asked. Today's question, what would I call my job? What would I call what I do? Obviously you could call me a YouTuber, but that's such a broad term nowadays and people don't understand that that's really just the new slang term for online entertainer. I think what I would call myself is a travel documentarian because I travel and I document things. Kind of simple, really, I know. <laughs> you know, I could, I could tell people that I'm actually crafting a documentary right now. And, you know, people would obviously ask, oh, what's the documentary about? The documentary is about my life, my journey, my experiences. And I know for a lot of people that probably would just kind of turn you off going, well, that's probably kind of boring or, okay, that's a little egotistical. <laughs> But what I'm hoping I'm sharing while I'm making these videos and everything else is the world that we live in. The side of the life that we don't see anywhere whatsoever. Nobody really notices it. Nobody really sees it. And to me, I want to be able to share more of that. I know I'm just another small channel in a slew of millions but if I get a few folks out there that can go huh I never knew that about such and such place or huh that's much more beautiful than I would have thought or huh New York sure has a lot of grassland area and farms <laughs> I, I would just like you know I'll, I'll feel a little bit better if everybody is just a, a little more aware how similar we are to one another especially in a time when everyone's bickering and arguing over stuff around the United States I just want to say look it don't matter how much we bicker and argue we are all still in the same position we are all still striving day after day to make something of our lives whatever that may be and I think showing the different lifestyles of people around this country to me it's a lot of fun I'm looking forward to sharing much more and as a travel documentarian I am definitely hoping that uh, I draw some people that might actually have more questions that might be curious about things you know it's not hard for me to look up a lot of stuff it's more the fact that I'm just incredibly lazy and I don't look up a lot of things because once I get off the bike I am just done I am like ah 
I got my I, my bum sore. I want to get off. I just want to go relax and think about anything other than being on the road. <laughs> I hope you guys all found that you know little tangent interesting. This includes my segment, a question nobody asked. Well, I, I will say, uh, most of the time, I don't know where I'm at. Uh, but today, I do know where I'm at. I'm on West 69. You know? That's a number that's easy to remember. I'm always... Everyone usually always asks me, Oh, what road did you take to get there? I have no idea. I don't really read a lot of the road signs. I'm, I know a lot of like, you know, food places and stuff. Because <laughs> half the day I'm usually hungry anyway. But, uh, yeah. Today will probably be easy. I'll just tell you what I took the 69. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I mean, it looks good, you know. As you can see ahead of you, it's not a bad road at all. And there's no bumps all over the road, so already I'm enjoying it. You know? Who would have thought? And I enjoy 69. And look at those beautiful curves. I mean, whenever you're on 69, you should expect some curves. Hello, hi everybody. So, I decided to stop here at uh, this Lakeview Park in uh, Cleveland, New York on the, uh, I believe it's pronounced Oneida Lake. Um, and they have this tower here. I don't know if it's supposed to be a bell tower or not. I'm not quite sure actually. But yeah. I just needed to get off my butt for a bit. I'm about half an hour away from uh, my host for the evening. And they're actually in Phoenix, New York. It's been kind of funny how many towns I find that are just in almost every single state. You know, there's an Orlando, uh, Oklahoma. Something tells me it's not quite as well known as the one in Florida, though. But yeah, so I'm just over here checking things out, warming up a little bit in the sun. I think it's only just now coming up to a little afternoon right now. So, I got more than enough time. Uh, I haven't eaten yet today at all. I'll probably get something once I get more settled in. My host last night actually gave me a, a loaf of uh, banana nut bread. So I'm looking forward to chowing down on that. But I need some butter, you know? You can't just have the banana nut without butter. <laughs> oh, man. There is one thing I'm looking forward to at the end of this leg of the journey. It's going to be shaving all of this off, or at least trimming it down. Oh, man, that is just a... It's always itchy, and especially the mustache. The hairs are always digging in your mouth. I probably eat more more hair than I do anything else on this trip so far. But yeah, taking in the sights, enjoying the breeze, and uh, yeah, that's about it. We're coming up on my host. Right now, gonna drive a bit further back here, it would seem. But yeah, today's been pretty good. It's just going up on one o'clock now. I grabbed myself some drinks because 
you know why not after filling up the gas tank I technically didn't have any space to pack it but you know I found a way <laughs> Take the black top all the way back and then gravel to a barn. That's what I heard. There's gravel. Does that, yep, that goes okay. I hope I'm going the right way. This looks like I was going the right way. Hello! <laughs> I just got done doing some chores and so hi, I'm Paul. I'm good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, wow, he got to quite the off. I, I don't think I could ride that thing that long that way. <laughs> I went cross country last year on this one here. Okay, well, that's a lot more comfortable, yeah. But uh, it'd be kind of hard to downgrade. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not really a downgrade. It's all, believe me, there was a lot of times I wish I could have went off road. Yeah. You know, but, uh, but yeah. Actually, uh, a good friend of mine's got a Tiger. That's cool. Yeah, I probably should have gone with the Triumph instead, but just because they have a lower seating situation with Triumph. Yeah. But I can't, that's my problem too. Is I the short, stubby legs. But yeah. I can't touch the ground. No, I think uh, after I get this to Hawaii, if I continue doing any more around the world, I'm getting a 300. Really? Gonna go. Now, what size is that? It's a 700. Okay. 300 is just plenty enough. And yeah, it's light enough. I can handle it no matter where I'm at. Yeah. And it's plenty enough energy because, like, yeah, sure, I'm doing like 120 miles a day. Okay. But I really don't like doing that much, you know. Right. Okay. You know, but I know with that too, if I'm doing a lot of off roading, you know, yeah. you might do 40, 60 miles any given day. Right, right. Yeah. So. Well, shit, get comfortable. Uh, I'm a bachelor. I don't have a lot as far as food and stuff goes. I eat out, so I mean, I don't know what your plans on are for the day. I mean, I'm pretty much, you know, if you want to ride around a little bit later on, or. Well, I just bought myself some drinks from the Sonico nearby. Okay. Something to drink, yep. and I got uh, I got some banana nut bread my host gave me. Oh, cool! So I was hoping you'd have some butter. We could have some. I do have some butter, <laughs> and uh, actually, oh, I don't have very much left. But we have a big Amish population around here uh-huh and i stop and get their stuff all the time <laughs> but, yeah get comfortable it's uh <sighs> mid-afternoon and i already had a little bit of my lunch which was the banana nut bread, which actually turned out to be banana chocolate chip bread. So that was delicious. I'll probably end up finishing that all off either tonight or in the morning. Ugh. Right now I'm just going to uh, enjoy the outdoors for a bit before I get ready to start work on my next video. Or rather, the last video I've been working on. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you all. Alright, we're heading out for the evening to go get some food. And possibly check out the, uh, the car show. Tomorrow is gonna be a fun day because we're gonna he's gonna go with me out towards uh, Lake Ontario area And from there I'm gonna be swinging around towards uh, Rochester And uh, Rochester is where I'll be doing um, uh, Some camping actually 
it's good because the folks I'm staying with are morning people as in they have to get to work in the morning so I'll be up and out pretty bright and early Friday which gives me more than enough time to do uh, to do Niagara Falls and make my way south from there. I'm just driving past one of the Budweiser plants, maybe the main one, I'm not sure. We're in the town of Lysander, north of Syracuse, I believe. South of Phoenix. Near the Onyenda Lake. It's probably some of the best directions I have ever been able to give whatsoever. Checking out an auto shop, auto, auto show, that's it. Yeah. Just a few here, you know. Well, here's the one car that I actually know and like. The Lotus. That's gorgeous. If you ever see a Lotus, enjoy it. You don't sit around long. Follow, arigato, and thank you. And don't forget, share it with someone you think might like it, and a like never hurts. Mm -hmm.